So I've logged into the guideline system and the first step we need to do is to set the priorities for the organisation. Now I've already done this for guideline but just to take you through um, the priorities that we have set for our organisation this is important because it feeds through not only into our actions and our to-do list um, but also sets the priority on which areas of compliance we're going to address first. So you can see at the top that for guideline our top priority is our people followed by our information and then our brand and our IP um, come next. And so for us money and certainly physical assets and property and contacts are much less important so we're all about our people and our information so if we scroll down we can see how that plays out so brand is more important than money and our IP is more important than money but we're saying that contacts and money that's about the same so that's all about um, our um, contact lists suppliers things like that um, information is more important than money we've said that money is more important than our physical assets um, all of our assets whether it's devices or, or property can be replaced if we have the money and that's why we made that decision and finally on the money area we have said that people are much more important than money um, it's just part of our ethos uh, brand is a slightly trickier area trying to work out which is more important is it brand or is it our intellectual property and so we've we've rated them as the same we're saying our brand is more important than our contacts but our information is more important than our brand and that really reflects the sort of business that we are we're um, an information provider information about standards and regulations so that is core to our business and and for us more important than our brand as we've said brand much more important than our physical assets or property but our brand not as important for us as our people um, we then have the intellectual property area um, and again much more important than than physical assets um, but our people more important than our intellectual property and that certainly may not be the case in in other businesses um, and so you can see those are the priorities we've set for the guideline organization we've uh, been through that um, we are reasonably happy with that at, at this stage um, those priorities could change as our business develops we might decide that uh, we have new product innovations and therefore our intellectual property becomes more important we'd come back into these priorities we'd redo them we'd move the sliders um, and the importance of IP would move up and therefore any actions that we need to complete in that space would move to the, the top of our list um, so we need to keep a watching brief on those priorities but as we stand at the beginning of 2020 when we're starting this journey of, of fully completing all of our compliance uh, these are the priorities we've set so the people area will be the first area that we look at and we'll be moving on to start the assessment in that area in the next video.